lectured a couple nights ago on the Marian martyrs, the martyrs under Bloody Mary. And it was extremely sober. And I give about a four-hour lecture in seminary. I only had 45 minutes. Just on those martyrs under Bloody Mary. There are other martyrs. Um, I cannot expect for me or for you that we're just going to cruise into glory on a cloud. Um, we, we may be carried on a sea of blood. Um, I have been run out of a church. I've been put out of church, out of a church. I, I was put out of a church of about 5,000 members. Wow. And to say 5,000, I don't want to impress you with the size. I only want to impress upon you the larger the church, the bigger the collision. Mm. There's a lot of strong personalities, a lot of lawyers, a lot of big people in town when you get that many people together. Um, and I've been run out on a rail. Um, I think it's a badge of honor. Mm. I don't think a preacher's worth his salt until he's been run out of at least one church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, and, I, and I really like half me now. Mm. Um, <laughs> first, first of these books I wrote was on John Calvin. Calvin only lasted two years in Geneva. And they gave him an apple and a road map. I mean, they just ran him out of town. He would come back three and a half years later and he started at exactly the next verse. <laughs> and it was a statement to the church. This church will be run by the word of God. Mm. When you got me, you got more than you bargained for. Mm. Jonathan Edwards is the greatest preacher America has ever produced, the greatest theologian, the greatest philosopher, the greatest author, and preached the greatest sermon ever preached on American soil. He was the leader of the Great Awakening along with George Whitfield that electrified the commons. After 22 and a half years, as the, as the single most prominent minister in America, he was voted out. Wow. By a 90% vote. Wow. Jonathan Edwards. Became the third president of Princeton. Charles Spurgeon died of a broken heart from the downgrade controversy here in England because of the liberalism that the Baptist church was on. And he's like signaling, stop. The, tr the train ran over him. His own brother seconded the motion to censor him. When you, when you preach the word of God, you pay a price for it. They don't burn liberals at the stake. <laughs> they don't believe anything. I mean, why would you burn baloney? <clears throat> Jesus, the final beatitude, blessed. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It actually brings assurance of salvation when you're persecuted. Mm. Even the world knows which side you're on. Mm. So, I mean, I, I listen, I, I have pastored, I'm talking about giving up pulpit. There have been Sundays I've had to get a babysitter. My children cannot come to church this Sunday and see this. Mm. Uh, they're going to take over the pulpit while I'm preaching. They're going to vote me out on the spot. Um, I've, I've, I've had men come to me and offer to pay my salary for a year if I will leave this moment today from the church. It's a tempting offer. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had double salary maybe going on. <laughs> No, I, I said, listen, you didn't call me to this church. God called me to this church, and you're stuck with me until God moves me. Mm. Now, you may be in the wrong church. I'm in the right church. Mm. Um, th there's a price to pay. I mean, I don't even have time. Dave's telling me I've, I don't have time. I've got to go. <laughs> but I, 
I walk with a limp. Um, I've I've been I've, I've suffered greatly for preaching the gospel. I'm not just telling you this and then like you guys, this will happen to you, not me. <coughs> no, it's the tallest tree in the forest that draws the lightning and the fire in the storm. The taller you stand, the more you're going to draw the fire. So if you're just a low life in the in the kingdom, you're probably just going to keep going like you are. You stand up strong, fly your flag, nail it to the mast, then you're, you're, you're probably going to get some pushback. That's just par for the course. Re read the book of Acts. Paul, when he would go to a town, he might as well just have gone ahead and checked into the jail. <laughs> just gone straight to jail. <laughs> And, and bypass the going into the synagogue, the creating the riot, the being drugged through the streets, being stoned, uh, the, the examination, the, the condemnation. He should have just gone straight to the jail. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. So who are we to think, you know, I'm going to be class favorite? You know, when I played football, everyone was cheering for me. I went into the ministry. I thought everyone would still be cheering for me. I, I had no idea there'd be people booing at me. I had no idea I'd need to be changing the locks to my house. I had no idea that like there's going to be pushback and opposition. That's that's according to the sovereign will of God. It hits us at different points. Mm. Mm. So it 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 may be that for you. It may not. I don't know. Mm. We all are given different assignments in the Lord's vineyard. You know, you read the book of Acts, James is, it has his head cut off. God sends an angel to get Peter out of jail. I mean, how, how, how do you know one from the other? It's the sovereign will of God. You know, Peter preached, 3,000 souls were saved. Stephen preached, 3,000 stones were thrown at him. <laughs> it's all in the sovereign will of God. So, yeah, brother, I mean, you're just going to have to put a helmet on, <laughs> fasten your chin strap. Thank you. Because you're the most dangerous man in town. Whoever preaches the truth, you're the most loved and you're the most hated man in town. Some people are going to name their children after you. Some people are going to name their dogs after you. <laughs> it's just the way that it is. I, I, I have people who have named their children after me. And, and I, I have people who would use my name like a curse word. That's, that's just ministry. It's the way that it is. That's not a me problem. That's their problem. Mm -hmm. Because when you reject my message, you're not rejecting me. You're rejecting God who sent me to bring this message. To you. So, man, I, I need to wind this down, but I have loved this. I, I would stay here all night if I, if I could. I have to get to Cardiff to do a different conference tomorrow. You're welcome to meet me in Cardiff if you're a glutton for punishment. I can give you more of this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to speak on preaching the gospel out of the book of Romans. But I, I have enjoyed this. In, in a sense, I, I live for this, to be able to be with other fellow pastors and to be able to, in a short period of time, try to provide you with some encouragement and to try to sharpen some of your skills to help take you to the next level. <coughs> so I pray that you'll leave encouraged. In fact, I pray when you leave, you'll knock the doors down mm -hmm. and storm the field and preach the word like you've never preached before. Preach stronger. Be more biblical. Mm. Be more theological. Be more heart surgeon. Be more gracious and loving as well. If I speak with the tongue of men and of angels but have not love, I'm a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. Um, speak with much love, the truth, and God will um, cause his word to bear much fruit. Amen. So, I'm going to close in a word of prayer. I commit you to the Lord and... Then I'm going to have to slip out.
unfortunately. I wish I could just shake everyone's hand. Well, let me commit you to the Lord, brother. I mean, thank, thank you for that, but let, let me commit you to the Lord. Father in heaven, thank you for this day we have had to spend together. Thank you for these men. These are some of your choicest ser servants whom you are using mightily. Lord, I pray that you would use them in, in even greater measure as they go back to their place of service May they have greater resolve to preach the word. May they have greater resolve to shepherd the flock and to love the sheep and to reach lost sinners with the gospel. May you show yourself to be faithful to them. And if they are called to suffer for the message, then it's suffering worthy to be endured. For we share in the sufferings of Christ. He, Jesus said, follow me. He was going to the cross. So Lord, help us to follow Christ as we carry our own cross and be willing to suffer for the message that we preach. May we, may we be willing to seal it with our own blood. Father, we pray this, wanting Christ to be honored in his name. Amen. 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 God bless you, men.